system of education cannot be fixed the way it is. Here in India, it doesn't have any flexibility. How can it be so rigid? It doesn't make sense because then your mind also becomes fixed. If we have a group, a membership, membership ticket, then we will have a say in the matter and then we can actually prove it by examples. So we have, have to prove things by examples, otherwise nobody will buy it. The problem is that institutions don't want to do it. I know, I know. Because it puts pressure Absol on them. Absolutely. I am my God. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So do you think there should be a way out? Even when you're giving exams, the library is there. You can just see whichever book you want. Books, why should they be so rigid? This is the book. We are asking a question, the person has to answer. He is flexible, he can read anything he wants. So that is actual life. When you want to do something, you can get the answer from anywhere. You should be able to Google, you should be able to do anything. That is flexibility. Then you can really know that is a time people will actually study. Let's get few students who are very, very keen in innovative ideas, whatever they want to do. We can capture the wealth out of their mind because purity lies there. The students heart and soul of this nation. Unlike any other nation, this one, most definite. And we are the real talented and intelligent sort. We can do wonders. I want to make a prototype of the student who will come. There will be no syllabus, first of all. No syllabus. What you want to do, you do. And nobody will be teaching you. You will be telling us what is to be done. You've got those talents, but they are all suppressed. We'll take them out. You will do it yourself. All of you will do it. <laughs>